When it comes to cancer screening, too much can be as harmful as too little. A new paper in Annals of Internal Medicine says that overdiagnosis of cancer is a real health threat and makes recommendations on how to explain the concept to patients. We wrote this paper because overdiagnosis is a hard concept to understand. Everybody has a fear of cancer. Everybody wants to get screened for cancer. But overdiagnosis is one of the downsides of cancer screening, and so we felt it was important to bring that forward to help promote wise decision-making between patients and physicians. The authors suggest a standard definition to clarify the meaning of overdiagnosis. We recommend that the definition of overdiagnosis be the detection of a cancer that never would have been picked up had testing not taken place. And what this means is that people probably would have died of other causes, never knowing that they had the cancer. The authors note that overdiagnosis needs to be treated as a threat to cancer patients. Overdiagnosis is a real threat because when you treat those cancers, you're exposing people to the potential harms of treatment without any hope of the benefit. Some of the costs include the psychological effects, the financial costs of treatment, and having to live with a cancer diagnosis that perhaps actually didn't need treatment because it wasn't actually causing any problems. The study also notes that while people remain interested in cancer screening, too much screening can be harmful. Overdiagnosis affects quality of care because when there's overdiagnosis present, it means people are being exposed to the risks of treatment and the use of services that weren't actually needed. And so that would be considered low-value care. It's not actually helping the person. The authors also call for improvements in communicating risks and rewards for cancer screening. Cancer screening is incredibly important, but also communicating the risk of overdiagnosis is a part of that. And so what we're hoping is that by doing this work, we're able to promote the creation of information that will be balanced so that patients and physicians can work together to create decisions that are consistent with people's values and risk tolerance. For more information, go to annals.org.